Zero losses does not mean zero risk, and 43% of Missouri fatalities are based on a driving exposure. So it's imperative that the agency and the risk know the exposures that are involved in their business and work with their carrier to provide a safe and a positive experience. Riding a trucking or a transportation risk has multiple layers. When you're looking at that kind of an organization, you want to make sure you're taking in all the aspects of the jobs. So you're looking at their safety protocols, you're looking at EMODs, you're looking at loss run. There are nationwide factors. So this is an industry that travels obviously across the United States. Their risk also involves a high level of exposure. So you're on the road on a daily basis. You also may be carrying different types of commodities. So you could have a hazmat exposure, you can have owner operators, you can have a lease truck. There's just so many dynamics to a transportation risk that has to be factored in when you're looking at it as a whole. Oftentimes with our agencies, we wanna make sure you have an agency that is adept at riding trucking risk and transportation risk. So they're used to looking at maybe their safer systems, their safer ratings, their SMS, which is their safety management systems, and looking at the protocols they have in place and making sure that they are mitigating losses and taking control of their safety programs. If I was discussing an account with an agency, I would wanna make sure we talked about the risk and its exposures. Also, loss runs are very important. You're looking at trends. You're looking at, has the business, business grown? Are there more employees, more premium? Also an EMOD, how do they compare to the industry as a whole? Uh, we are looking at their policies and procedures. Technology has made a huge uh, difference in trucking. So are they using telematics? Are they using their e-logs? Are they actually looking at that information and making disciplinary policies? And how do they mitigate their losses based on the data that they have that's available to them? We as a underwriting department, when we're looking at a transportation risk, we actually have a transportation specialist, which is me, and we have a committee also that's designated to look at transportation. So we're looking at our policies and procedures, we're looking at what we call a transportation supplemental form, which asks a lot of questions about the risk and its exposures. You also have a very dynamic safety and risk services department, and those consultants work with the agency and the risk. They also work with our BDMs, which is our business development managers. So if, you, if an agent has a question on a risk, you can actually contact them and they would put you in place with both your safety and risk services and your underwriter to make sure we look at the risk as a whole.